Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the parts and assembly of clamp coupling. In clamp coupling, there are six parts, shaft, upper clamp, lower clamp, bolt, nut and a key. I am going to start with the, the shaft, then I am going to model the upper clamp. Then in the upper clamp, I am going to do a small modification to make it as a lower clamp. Then bolt, nut and finally, we are going to draw the key. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw a circle of diameter 75 mm. Go to smart dimensions, change the diameter to 75 mm. Now go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a length of 220 mm. Actually the length is not given, so I am taking a rough length of 220 mm. Okay. Next, I am going to cut the key slot, click here, click sketch. So you can use control 8 to view it in the normal direction, go to center rectangle. and draw a center rectangle go to smart dimensions the height of the rectangle is given as 11 mm and the width is given as 14 mm click control select the center point of the rectangle and the origin and make it as vertical go to convert entities select the outer edge click ok now go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. Go to features, click extruded cut and cut this to a distance of 150 mm. Next I am going to create the chamfer, go to chamfer. The chamfer distance is given as 3 mm. Click this edge, click OK. Now right click on the material and change the material as plain carbon steel. Now we can save this. As part number 1. Close this. Now click new and create a new part, select the front plane, click sketch, draw two circles, so the inner circle radius is 37.5 mm, so the diameter is 37.5 into 2 and the outer, outer circle radius is 100, so the diameter is 200 mm. Select line and draw a straight line then go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions go to features click extruded boss and extrude this to a length of 260 mm okay. now select the top plane click sketch draw a circle The circle diameter is given as 60 mm, the radius is given so the diameter is 60 mm and the circle is at a distance of 80 mm and from the side the distance is given as 40 mm. Now select line, start a line from the top edge. and finish it here. Now go to trim entities and trim the inner region. Go to features, click extruded cut, change the direction and the cut I am going to create with an offset. 
of 25 mm click ok next select the surface click sketch draw a circle circle diameter is given as 20 mm select control select these two circles and make it as concentric go to features click extruded cut select through all both now i am going to pattern this go to linear pattern the direction select any one of the edge two entities with a gap of 100 mm and features are the two extrude cuts you can change the direction click ok next i am going to mirror it go to mirror so mirror face is right face or right plane and the features to mirror is both the cutter extrudes and the linear pattern click ok now right click on the material and make it as cast alloy steel now save this as part number 2 then click the surface click sketch and draw a corner rectangle the rectangle height is given as 11 mm and the width is 14 mm click control select the center of the rectangle and the origin and make it as vertical now go to features click extruded cut select through all click ok now this is the upper clamp you can save this as click save as and make it as component number 3 now close this next i am going to draw the bolt create a new part select the top plane click sketch and draw a polygon so the polygon diameter is not given so i am roughly taking a diameter of 40 mm as the bolt size is m20 go to features click extruded bars and extrude this to a width of 20 mm now select the surface click sketch and draw a circle of 20 mm diameter go to features click extruded bars and extrude this to height of 80 mm okay the 80 mm is given in the diagram next i am going to create the thread go to hole wizard thread select the starting face starting edge of the thread and in the end condition choose up to selection and select this surface so the bolt size is m20 click ok now i have created the thread right click on the material and apply plain carbon steel now you can save this as part number four Next, I am going to modify this bolt as a nut. So, click the boss thread and delete it. Then, click boss extrude and click delete. Now, you can edit the sketch. Go to features, click extrude at cut, then click OK. Now, again, I am going to create the internal thread. Go to hole wizard, click thread. Select the starting edge and select the end face. So here, as it is an internal thread, we have to extrude the thread. So trim with the start face and trim with the end face. Now you can use the save as option and make it as part number 5. Finally, the key click new and create a new part. 
select the front plane click sketch and draw a rectangle with a width of 14 mm and a height of 22 mm go to features click extrude boss and extrude this to a length of 140 mm right click on the material and choose plain carbon steel now save this as part number 6 next i am going to assemble it click new create new assembly so i am starting from the part number 2 click open and I am rotating this with respect to Z so that I can assemble the key at the top side. Next go to insert component and insert part number 3. Okay, Go to mate. Select these two surfaces and click coincident mate and select these two circles and make it as concentric mate. Now go to insert component and insert the shaft. Go to mate, select the two cylindrical surfaces and make it as concentric Then select these two edges and make it as coincident. Similarly select the edge and the shaft face, choose coincident with an eccentricity of half of the distance. So 260 divided by 2, click OK. Next go to insert component and insert the key part number 6. Go to mate, select the two bottom surfaces and make it as coincident. Similarly select these two right side faces and make it as coincident Then you can tan this and select the two end phases and make it as coincident. Next I am going to mirror it, go to mirror component. So for mirroring it I need a reference surface. So first I am selecting reference geometry and plane. So this is my first reference and this is my second reference so that a plane will be generated at the center. Now go to mirror components so mirror plane the plane is already selected and components to mirror the shaft and the key click ok now the mirroring is done next I am going to insert the bolt and nut so go to insert component insert part number 4 go to mate select these two surfaces and make it as coincident. Similarly select the circular edges and make it as concentric mate. Next go to insert component and insert part number 5 the nut. Go to mate, select the two mating surfaces and select coincident. Similarly, select the top edge of the bolt and the top edge of the nut and make it as concentric. Next, I am going to create pattern. Go to linear pattern. The direction 1, select the linear direction. Direction 2, select the opposite direction. And number of entities in direction 1 is 2 and direction 2 is also 2. And in the direction 1, the distance is 100 mm and in direction 2 
the in between distance is 120 mm so in this distance it is 120 and here it is 100 mm components to pattern select the bolt and nut so you can change the direction so now we have completed the assembly thank you